Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. We've been asked a lot in recent weeks about where our videos are with the squirrels in. We've spent an awful lot of time on our permissions looking for them. We don't see many these days at the moment due to natural food. Here's a perfect example of one foraging about 150 yards up the bank from me on a session I was on. I watched him for quite some time and he eventually scarpers. This is the best chance I had all day. It's plump squirrel on a tree behind the feeder which is in range and he legs it. Another session no squirrels seen, so I decided to take this one for the pot and probably pluck the feathers out of his neck and off he flies unharmed. So we haven't had an awful lot of luck, as you can see, but he's still managed to dust his neck, pluck a few feathers, and there he is as he takes off, completely unharmed. And this is my bro out on the same place again. All he saw all day was this doe and her fawn. We haven't Bother to include all the footage we got of wild animals on all the sessions we went on when we never saw a single squirrel. This just gives you an idea of the amount of time we put in. This is me in another location. First light and a blackbird appears. Quite unexpectedly, this jay rocks up. Never heard him fly in. Glanced up because I was messing around in my bag and there he was. I kept down low just to make sure he didn't see me. Very, very, very keen eyesight. I'm fumbling my gun up, taking him with a shot straight through the high end of the body, which you can hear is the metal plate. Drop him to the ground. A quick check down the scope. Check he's dead. I have to turn the camera on to him now. It's a windy day. A few feathers being ruffled by the wind there, but he's dead. And again, it was a slow day. This pheasant came in, quite a dark specimen. Never seen one like that before. And finally, I see a squirrel. I've had my face run up to the front of the height now, looking up in the air, thinking I could hear a bird landing, maybe a pigeon or something, to see if I can take one out for the pot. And I think he might have seen my face. He looks pretty agitated, and I can't get the camera on him. It's a trouble with self-filming. Bro was here. He would just track him for me, and I'd take him when I needed to. Every time the camera stays still like that, I'm messing with the gun, and I look up to see he's moved again. Not playing ball, is he? He's up there, now. No, he's back on the tree. Now I'm tracking him through the scope now. And I'm thinking to myself, as I take the safety off and take up the first stage of the two-stage trigger, if he turns his head, I'm going to shoot him. So I'm watching him, and then he seems to sat still, and then he turns his head. And I stick a pellet in it. It looks a little bit low. It drops like a stone to the ground. Some dogs barking in the background, it's a bit of a kennel, not that far away. And the viewers of our other videos will know that we like this sort of thing. Seeing the local birds come and have a nice feed of the wheat on the feeder. And on the floor, they'll mop it all up along with the pheasants. Very nice to see. And then we have the jay where it dropped. The pellet went straight through him, breaking a wing feather on the other side as it hit the metal plate. There's my rapid. There's the feeder, sorted planks and sticks there just to make it easier for squirrels to run up onto the feeder. And that's the grey fella where he dropped, never moved, stone dead. Quick inspection of this buck to see where I fit him. I fit him with the cheek by the look of it. I was aiming at the slight epil angle. The pellet seems to have got up into his brain. As you saw, took him really cleanly. 
dropped him straight to the ground. Never felt a thing. They were both rapid, the two pests on the floor. And a close up of the two pests. And these were the last two I took in 2013. Just as a little interesting point, much like the great British Bobby, and for our American cousins, John Wayne's 10 gallon hat, the head doesn't go right to the top of the headgear. So if you can take a headshot, make sure you aim just behind the eye. Another day and another location. First light, as you can see, I went there a little bit too early considering dawn was about quarter past eight. I have to wear a head torch. I've just been putting a couple of little targets on the top of the feeder to have my traditional test shots before I start the proceedings. There wasn't much squirrel activity on the show. I heard some tapping and noise up in the branches above me. When I looked up, Mr. Woodpecker was having to tap around. I amused myself for the next hour or two, just filming the native birds. And while I was taking a picture of this one, just after it flew off, I could hear shotguns go in. So I exit my hide to see what's going on. As I stand up and have a stretch, I realise there's a duck shoot on the local pond. And with that in mind, I thought that's the end of my session. Just then I noticed a squirrel coming tearing towards me through the tops of the branches, obviously spooked by the shotguns. So I pull out my rifle, take aim and fire, hit some sticks and miss it, then reload, follow it another tree or two, and it stops just short of a dray, at which point I hit straight in the side of the head, just about 50 yards. And that is my first squirrel of 2014, off camera, but they all count. Over to Bro now in the other wood, he's having much more success than I did in attracting squirrels to his feeder. This one comes in, a little bit nervy, but it seems to be making a beeline straight for the feeder. It's just how we like to see it. This illustrates the problems you have when you're trying to film and shoot yourself. And Bro's put it on him, as I would have done. You see it's a buck. He should probably sit up in a minute, so Bro's got his gun up, and he hasn't noticed now he's gone off screen. So he's tracking him with a gun. And a nice headshot occurs just off screen. And then he realises and pans the camera back onto the squirrel as he drops to the ground and kicks a little bit. Just will see in a minute. It's a good headshot. Sometimes get a bit of kick in. It's only nerves. Never felt a thing. And that's his first squirrel of 2014. Here comes number two. You watch this one approach from a distance. Crawl down this tree. He started filming. This one looks like Mission Impossible Squirrel. He's definitely on a mission. Bro's trying to find him. There he is, he's got him again. This is a doe this time. Who sits immediately on the feeder. And there she is, adopting a perfect position to shoot. And Bro's lining up on her now. She should sit there and nibble away. Until he does that. And hits her in the top of the head. Just above the eye. With his 2-2 power pal. And drops it on top of the buck. Pretty much exactly. A few kicks. And his second squirrel of 2014 is on the deck. I've called time on my session and wandered up to see Bro. He's already dropped the two squirrels. And not long after I arrived these two turn up. And while these are being filmed, I spot a J behind that tin, and Bro can't see it properly, or film it. It's back a little bit behind, I can see a gap through the sticks, so he lost me the S410, and I drop it, just after this is finished videoing. It's dead behind the back of the tin as we'll go and investigate in a minute, but first we'll have a look at uh, his two kills. That's the entry room just above the eye there, not the one in front, that's where the pellet went in, straight into the brain. Quite a plump squirrel. This is the other one. Bit of a mess. But again, another brain shot. Never felt a thing. I'll go looking for my J. Takes with a spot in. I hit him perfectly high in the body. He dropped nose first into the ivy below the tree. I couldn't quite see the the wound at first, I knew roughly where I was looking, I couldn't quite see it. On closer inspection I could see 
I caught him just exactly where I've aimed. And he dropped clean as well. And there's a trio of pests from the top wood. My jay, bros rather plump squirrels, one buck and one doe. There's a trio of squirrels together. My doe and bros buck and doe. They are our first squirrels of 2014. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.